Alright, the last thing that we need in this section is we're going to look at the other half of reading and writing numbers. In this section, we're going to go ahead and go from words to digits, much like we did or the opposite of what we did in the previous section. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about basic numbers. When we read numbers, we want to remember our three basic columns. Remember the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. So if we have a number followed by the word hundred, it will be in the left column. If a word ends in ty or teen, we will have a digit in the middle column. If it's a ty, it's going to be whatever digit is if goes with it. And if it's a teen, we have a 1 in the middle column. And if it is a number or has a suffix of teen, it will be in the right column. Now be very careful because on if we have missing columns, we need to make sure that we place a 0 in that column. So for instance, if there's no ty or teen, then you know you have a 0 in the middle column. Um, if you have a if you don't have just the number, then you'll have a zero in the right column. Now one thing to note is uh, you do not always have to have a zero in the left column. 28. Do we write that zero to eight or do we write it just to eight? Okay. So let's go ahead and look at some examples and see what we can do here. So example A. We have 325. So notice we have some key things here that we want to point out. We have 300. That means that the 3 is going to go in my left column. I have a TY, which means that the 20 will go in my middle column. And then I have just a 5, which means that I will have a 5 in my right column. So 325 is written 3, 2, 5. All right, let's look at example B. We have 905. So again, I have the word 100. We have 9 of them. So we're going to have 9 in the left column. Notice there are no terms or anything that show we don't have a ty or a teen or anything that indicates we have a number in the middle column. So we're going to put a 0. And then we have 5 by itself. That will go in the right column. That takes care of B. 905 is written 905. Example C, we have 611, so again we have that word 100. So we're going to have 6 in our left column. Remember that 11 is one of those special cases. This is just going to be 1-1. One, one. All right, a couple more. 817, we do have that word 100 there, so we have 8 in our left column. We also have the suffix teen. Remember, teen is going to be 1, and then this is 17, so this is going to be 817. All right, E, 360. We have that word 100 again, so this is going to be 3 in our left column. We have that suffix of ty, so this is going to be a 6 in the middle column. And we have no number by itself, so we need a 0 in our right column. So this is 360, which is 360. All right, f. F is actually not going to be a three-digit number. Notice that there's no mention of the word 100 anywhere in here. And so we're just going to go ahead and translate 74. So we have that TY, which means we're going to have a 7 in the middle column, 
followed by a 4. And we do not need a digit in the left column. Okay, so if you can do this, then you can translate any number. Just like we saw before, we want to break it down into the periods. We're going to do the same thing here. So when we extend this to larger numbers, we want to translate each portion that is separated by a comma. We're going to place zeros so that each period, except for maybe the first, has three digits. And another thing that we do need to be careful about is if a period is not mentioned at all, we do need to put a set of three zeros in that period. Finally, when you're done, you want to check that all periods are represented. So before we begin, let's go ahead and just recall what our periods are. We have our ones, our thousands, our million, our billion, and our trillion. So have this handy so that we can kind of refer back to it as we work through these problems. Okay, so if we look at example A, we have 516,009. So what we're going to do is we are going to just translate the three digit number. I just care about 516. This tells me the period it's in, but it doesn't really have any bearing on how we translate to digits other than where does it go in terms of commas and things. So we're just going to work with 516. 516, if we translate this, this is going to be 516. I put my comma. This is in the thousands period. The next one over is the ones period. So we don't need to worry about adding in any sets of zeros. Sets of three zeros. Now, nine, where does nine appear? Well, notice that nine, we do have to insert zeros so that we do have a total of three digits. Nine by itself is going to be in the right hand column of our three of our set. So we have no mention of hundreds. I'm going to put a zero there. We have no TYs or teens, so I'm going to put a zero there. And then we have our nine. So even though that my handwriting looks horrible there, um, we have 516 comma zero zero nine. All right, let's look at example B. Example B, we have 200 billion, 50 million, 616. So starting on the left, we're going to start by translating 200. So this is going to be 200. Zero, zero. I put my comma. All right, after my billions period is my millions period. Is that the next thing that's mentioned here? Yes, it is. So now how do we write 50 million? Well, remember 50 is a two digit number. We need three. So I want to have a zero. 50 has that TY. So it's going to go in the middle. We have no number by itself. And so we get zero five zero. We add in a comma. All right, my next period after the millions is the thousands. Do we have a thousand in our number here? No, there's no mention of thousands. So what do we do? We're going to put in a set of three zeros. And then finally, we translate our last number, 616. This should be six in the hundreds column and then 16. So 200 billion, 50 million, 616 translates to 200, 000, 050, 000, 000, 
616. And again, remember your commas. Okay, next one we have example C. We have 77 billion. So we'll go ahead and start with our 77. Comma. After billions comes millions. Notice that there is no millions in this number. So I'm going to put my set of three zeros. After millions comes thousands. We do have thousands. We have 30 of them. Notice that there's no mention of the word hundred in here. So I want a zero in my left column. Three in my middle column because it does say 30. It does have that ty. And then we don't have a number by itself, so it's going to stay a zero in the right column. Comma, and then our last period is our once period. And so we have 500. All right, that takes care of example C. Example D, we have 4,260,000. So 4 million, let's start with that. We get 4, comma. After millions comes thousands. We've got thousands in our number here. So I'm going to translate the 260. 260 is 260. And don't get too cocky yet. We're not done. We don't have anything after the thousands, but... Notice up here we do. So we do need to add in a set of three, zero, three zeros for our ones period. All right, now we're done. Okay, let's try a couple more. Okay, 18 million. What do we got? One eight. After millions comes thousands. We do have a thousand. So where does our two go? It's going to go in our right column. So we do need to enter zeros for our left and our middle column. So we should get zero, zero, two. 305, we have three. We don't have anything that ends in a TY or a teen. So we're going to put a zero in the middle column and then a five. All right, that one is done. Last one, we have five trillion, 42 billion, nine million. So we get five, comma. After trillion, what's next? We have billions, which we do have. So we get 42. There's no mention of 100, so we're going to put a 0 in the left, and then our 42. After billions comes millions. We have that as well. So we have 9 million. 9 is going to go in the right column, so I'm going to have a 0 in my left, 0 in my middle, and then a 9, comma, there is no mentions of thousands, so we need to add in a set of zeros there. And there is no mention of the ones period either, so we're going to put in a set of zeros there as well. Okay, example G. We have 212,000. So we're just going to work with 212. This is 212. We put in our comma. And the last one is 405. This is going to be 4. There's no T, Y, or T, so we need a 0 in the middle column. And then 5. All right, last example 42,045,000. 19. So 42 million is going to be 42, comma. After millions comes thousands. We have that. We have 45, so this is going to be 0, 
four five comma and then we do have a number in our ones period we have 19 so this is going to be 0 19 All right, that takes care of our reading and writing numbers now. Okay, so that takes care of A.1. Uh, keep an eye out and A.2 will be posted shortly.